corpse after a UFO crashed near her dacha in 2009. Yes, she took photos of the supposed mysterious creature as proof of her story. Let's go in for a close encounter of our own now. Tom Barton's on standby for us. Uh, Tom, I, I never thought I'd ever say this, but uh, tell us more about this extraterrestrial. Well, it's mysterious stuff, isn't it, you two? It was in 2009 that Marfa Yegorovna supposedly found this dead alien by a burning wreckage of its spacecraft uh, in the northwest of Russia in Karelia near her holiday home, her dacha. Now, what would you do if you were in that situation? Perhaps ring the authorities? Well, Marfa didn't. She decided she would take the alien home and put it in her fridge where it stayed for the next two years. OK, she did that. It apparently uh, has two legs, two large bulbous eyes, and a thin arm protruding from one of its sides. She took some photos to try and uh, to make sure of this. These photos have now surfaced. And uh, once again, all the UFO enthusiasts around the world are very intrigued by this story. OK, um, if that's a face that I just saw, it's... Um resemble some of the Moscow party goers with uh, very very large lips. Uh, Tom, what's happened to this being now? Good question, you, you may indeed ask. It has, you may not be surprised to learn, disappeared. Um, Marfa told journalists that it had been confiscated by a local laboratory that wanted to do further tests and no one has seen anything more of it, which doesn't really add to the, uh, the gravitas of her story, but nevertheless, a lot of UFO enthusiasts have been following the story closely and some of them have said that we shouldn't discount the possibility that it may indeed be a real dead alien. Uh, Tom, like most things that you leave in the fridge for a couple of years, the, uh, the alien doesn't seem to be sort of bearing up too well. Um, if I was being cynical, don't call me a sceptic, but some people might say it looks a little bit like a courgette. Um, do you think there's any credibility that this, this could actually be a hoax? Come on now, Neil. I mean, you, you, oh, ye of little faith. You know, you, you, you're just so, so cynical about this. Yes, well, it has been known that there have been incidents a little bit like this before. And if aliens are indeed trying to land on Earth, it does seem that Russia is their chosen point of arrival. It also seems perhaps that they're not very good at it because uh, all the evidence seems to be of crashes and bodies. Um, this video behind me, I'll just turn it on now is from the Far East, from Siberia, Irkutsk region, where two students claimed they found, what you'll see in a second, a, an alien body in the snow that had, uh, that had been from a crashed spacecraft there. And that set off a media frenzy and a, a YouTube frenzy with almost 700,000 hits on this video on the internet and uh, once the Russian government started to show a bit of an interest as well the two students decided perhaps the heat was a bit too much and admitted that in fact it wasn't a dead alien it had something they had made themselves from bread so that also doesn't add to the credibility of some of these uh, stories a similar picture was seen from the Irkutsk region supposedly of a, a shining disc with five aliens trooping about in the snow before it nobody was really able to comment on the authenticity of that and in Latvia a burning wreckage set off a similar YouTube sensation until a local internet and telephone company admitted it was a rather clever PR stunt it is yet to be seen whether the Karelia alien turns out to be real or not, but I think one comment that uh, was found on the internet on this story um, from a member of the public raised a very good point. She had put the alien on one of the top shelves of her fridge, and as we all know, you should never put meat on the top stage of the fridge. But well, we don't know if it's out of meat. Um, Tom, mm. thanks so much. I've got two comments here. First off, I kind of understand the aliens that wanted to land in Russia. It's quite a large landmark when you look from above. And secondly, Neil, what an exciting life you have. Courgettes with tiny little arms. Uh, yeah, nice. well, if they were arms, we don't know yet, do we? And anything's possible. The truth is out there. And uh, hopefully we will find out. I do hope it is an alien and she's just treated it horrendously we'll stay on the story rather than thank you so much that's tom barton our correspondent brilliant report